Hello everyone, my name is Faris Hajamaidin and I am the Director of the School of Architecture and the Built Environment. In this info session, we will be sharing on the school's diploma offerings so that you can have a better understanding on not only the mechanics of our built environment courses, also as well as the industry we prepare our graduates for. The School of Architecture and the Built Environment, as it is known today, is the first since the 1950s in the training of professionals in the built environment. We are proud to have six diplomas to our name. They are the Diploma in Architecture, Diploma in Landscape Architecture, Diploma in Interior Design, Diploma in Civil Engineering, Diploma in Facilities Management, and Diploma in Integrated Events and Project Management. Career prospects and the opportunities of the industry is one area that concerns applicants of any course. In the recent International Built Environment Week 2021, Mr. Desmond Lee, Minister of National Development mentioned, we need to enhance the environmental sustainability of the built environment sector in the face of serious threat posed by climate change. This will enable us to be more resilient to future challenges that will surely come our way. A more productive, digitalized and sustainable built environment sector will also enable firms to continue to attract new talent and create good jobs for Singaporeans. Now, if we follow what the Minister has said, it helps challenge the conventional view of the built environment industry. The future which is already taking shape now is an industry that is digitalizing in many fronts and whose concerns are increasingly in green technology and sustainability. The future, I believe, is both exciting and meaningful. To respond to these current and impending developments in the industry, here at ABE, we seek to equip our students with skill sets aligned with industry needs, including building information modeling, popularly known as BIM, sustainable construction, urban solutions and sustainability, smart FM, and hybrid event management. Later, my colleagues will take you through the key features of the six diplomas on offer and career prospects related to each of them. I hope this info session helps you in making informed choices for the next lap of your education journey and careers. Those of you who enroll into the School of Architecture and Build Environment will be entering the workforce in 2024. Now, while there had been some interruption to Singapore's development plans, I do believe those entering the industry, which may include those of you listening now, will play an important role in shaping Singapore's future. Hello, my name is Kim Nam and I am the Deputy Director at the School of Architecture and the Built Environment, otherwise known as ABE. At ABE, you can transform spaces and help create the sustainable future you dream of. ABE will bring you along the built environment journey with our six closely linked diplomas. This journey will see you either creating, transforming, synergizing, designing, enhancing, or integrating the built environment in meaningful ways. Let me bring you through three of the diplomas here at ABE. The Diploma in Architecture, or DIARCH for short. The Diploma in Interior Design, or commonly referred to as DID. And the Diploma in Landscape Architecture, otherwise known as DLA. In your first year, you will experience the Common Foundation Program. Here, your design foundation will be built through our unique studio-based pedagogy, focusing on both critical and creative thinking, as well as technical knowledge. The skills and techniques honed will provide you with the key knowledge needed across all built environment design disciplines. This will set you up for a multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary approach in the future and provide a firm foundation as you deepen your skills and knowledge when you move into your discipline in the upper years. The first discipline is the Diploma in Architecture. The Arch is Singapore's first full-fledged architectural diploma. Here, you will have the opportunity to impact the way people live, breathe and interact with the spaces they fill. The curriculum at DIARCH is strategically positioned to provide you the foundation to support and even lead industry transformations. 
you will receive training and skill sets that will make you a valuable asset to the industry upon graduation. Next, at the Diploma in Landscape Architecture, you will be equipped with fundamental, at times radical, knowledge on landscape design. You will learn how to carve out enjoyable and inspirational green spaces in an urban setting and fulfill your aspirations to address climate change issues. DLA prepares you with relevant skills towards digitalization, design, and documentation to contribute to a profession that creates spaces for people to be close to nature with sustainability in mind. Finally, at the Diploma in Interior Design, you can find yourself translating your passion for spatial design and transform this experience of everyday living. As a creative and budding designer, you will learn how to develop strong research methodologies, be experimental, and push the boundaries of your design ideas. These diplomas are all about creativity and the design process. At ABE, we endeavour, with our rigorous curriculum, to fully immerse each and every student to the design culture. This even extends beyond the classroom, where we incorporate exploratory projects as well as collaborations with industry and institutions. One example is an ongoing collaboration with the Youth Division of MCCY, Ministry of Culture, Community and Youth. With their strong support, in spite of recent pandemic disruptions, students from DH, DLA and DID embarked on a multidisciplinary project titled User Experience Research for Placemaking in Somerset Belt. This project strives to co-create spaces with use for use at the Somerset Belt. Besides presenting their findings, a physical prototype was developed at the end of the design process and was showcased in a public space frequented by youth. Thank you, Kim Nam. Hi, everyone. I'm Xiang Ling, Deputy Director from the School of Architecture and the Built Environment. Let me share with you the other three diplomas at ABE, namely Diploma in Civil Engineering, DCE in short, Diploma in Facilities Management, also known as DFM, and Diploma in Integrated Events and Project Management, often referred to as DEPM. Firstly, the Diploma in Civil Engineering. If you have always been curious about how to design and build the different types of structures, such as skyscraper, bridges, tunnels, then this is the course for you. DCE provides a broad-based curriculum that covers key domains such as structures, spatial and infrastructures, project management, environmental and water technology, which provides students with a wide range of career options when they graduate. DCE also prepares students with relevant skill sets towards digitization and sustainability to keep abreast of the industry needs. Next, the Diploma in Facilities Management. As facility manager, you plan and manage operation to ensure smooth running of the facilities while at the same time take care of the well-being of the users. With greater emphasis on smarter and greener building, facilities managers have to adopt and implement technologies to enhance the building performance and its attractiveness so as to ensure that the building remains competitive. The DFM course is a broad-based curriculum that provides foundational knowledge in key areas such as facilities communication and management, procurement, customer relationship management, environmental management and sustainability, digital technologies, and many more. So if you look forward to managing facilities and people and in using technology to manage the building more efficiently, you may want to check out DFM. Lastly, the Diploma in Integrated Events and Project Management. DEPM provides an authentic learning experience for the student through opportunities to organise events in their first two years of study and internship in their final year. DEPM also prepares students with relevant skill set towards digitisation to support the move towards virtual and hybrid events. Its curriculum is broad-based and covers areas such as hybrid events production, creative media tech, 
marketing, mice management, venue and facilities management, just to name a few. So if you're interested in creating meaningful and memorable events, whether virtually or physically, or a combination of both, DPM is the cause. With strong support from our industry partners, students from all these three diploma courses were also given opportunities to do industry link or R&D projects. These opportunities allow students to apply what they have learned from the course into real-life issues and work with the industry partners to create possible solutions. One example is a project done by the DCE students, whereby the students explored the use of BIM application to estimate the quantity of formwork. This innovation reduces the need for manual measurement and also enables the quantity to be derived at a much shorter time. Let's find out more from the video. As of now, the construction industry is still reliant on manpower and they do all of the work by manual labour. So what we are trying to do is to create an automated program which will optimise the time taken in the process. Right now, what they are doing in the company is actually to let the engineers design the entire layout and count each of them one by one using the top view of the formwork and the side view of the formwork. So we have came up with two solutions and the first one is actually the 2D AutoCAD Quantity Takeoff Program. So what is required for this program is actually for the designer to design what he or she needs to put in the formwork as per normal. The part where it is automated is actually where they select what is inside the design that they have made. So the computer will intelligently recommend what are the shoring arrangements for each of the towers that the engineer has designed. So in the making of the 2D program, we actually took about four weeks to make it and it consists about 24,000 lines of codes. So as of now, the industry is using the AutoCAD program. But moving in the future, we'll be using a more powerful uh, program called Revit, which is why we have also come up with a solution using that. Actually, we made our own template file, which we can di directly see the result of opponent takeoff after finishing drawing. Thus, we create a series of families which consist of all the formal components required in the project. Moreover, in the future, we will be able to add more combinations of shoring systems in, in order to improve the efficiency of designing. Lastly, the Revit program will be able to calculate loading of systems and uh, the cost evaluation. So I really think that um, our hard work has paid off in this project and we are really happy that we can actually contribute into the industry and use what we learn to improve the construction industry. Hi everyone, I'm Zijie, course chair of the Diploma in Interior Design. I would like to share with you on your progression after your three years journey with us. You can either use your skill sets to join the workforce or further your study locally or overseas. First, I would like to show you the career options for Diploma in Architecture, Interior Design and Landscape Architecture. Our graduates from these three courses can work in design-related jobs for the respective fields. Now, I would like to share with you the career options for the Diploma in Civil Engineering, Facilities Management and Integrated Events and Project Management. As you can see, there are plenty of career options for these three courses. For example, Civil engineering graduates can work as assistant engineer or beam specialist. Facility management graduates can work as building executive. Integrated events and project management graduates can join the workforce as client experience manager. If you wish to further your studies, the strength of your ABE diploma allows for module exemptions and advanced standing in many local and foreign universities. The ARCH offers a SP-SUTD special pathway program that allows selected students to gain conditional early admission to SUTD. I would like to share with you a video on our ABE alumnus, Jonathan Pei. During his secondary school days, he felt that he was a burden in class. However, 
after joining the diploma in civil engineering, he found his goals. He graduated with a series of awards, including the Class 2015 Gold Medal and the prestigious Lee Kuan Yew Award. He received an LTA undergraduate scholarship and studied at Imperial College after national service. Let's hear from Jonathan on his journey and experience studying in SP. Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan. My entry into SP's Diploma in Civil Engineering was truly a blessing in disguise. It all started through a written appeal to SP after several unsuccessful JE applications for my poor O-level results. Thankfully, I was given a second chance to change my attitude towards studies and SP gave me an entry spot which I barely made it through. I'm always amazed by how mega structures are being built, especially whatever is underground. I first knew about civil engineering through my physics teacher in school and physics was my favourite subject. Then I started to realise a huge link between civil engineering and the real-life applications of physics, thinking that I'd like to be one of those guys dealing with mega projects such as railway one day. So I chose SP's Diploma in Civil Engineering as my first choice. Back in those days, I liked how SP gave us hands-on projects, small scale, every single year, from building the tallest structure to the strongest bridge and finally the most earthquake resistant structure. In my final year, my team did a project aimed at harnessing renewable energy using green building innovations for sustainability. Apart from my studies, I joined the SP Symphonic Band and participated in two overseas community involvement projects with SP. Of course, opportunities don't just stop here. SP also works with industrial partners in offering internships and career guidance to students. And that's how I personally knew about the Land Transport Authority. Because of my interest in railway and its underground infrastructure applications, I thought that LTA was the right place for me. So I only applied for the LTA Undergraduate Scholarship. I'm very thankful to LTA that I was given this scholarship to pursue a direct master's degree in civil engineering at Imperial College London with a guaranteed employment upon graduation. Today, I'm working as a track work project engineer, managing the design and construction of concrete slab tracks for our upcoming railway. Over here, I'm also exposed to other engineering disciplines, so I'm not just constrained in my own civil engineering circle, and we work together as one LTA family. I'm also very thankful that I would be given opportunities to change my division in future for holistic growth. So you would be very surprised by the vast amount of works managed by LTA. So as a public servant, I must say I'm very thankful that I can apply my civil engineering knowledge to railway projects to bring fellow Singaporeans a step closer to their doorways. So if you have the passion for making a positive impact on the lives of not one, but many Singaporeans, choose civil engineering as your first choice. And with SP, it's so possible, just like how you did for me. Thank you. In ABE, students are attached to local and overseas firms and corporate establishments in both the public and private sectors for their internships for the Diploma in Architecture, Diploma in Interior Design, and Diploma in Landscape Architecture, students will undergo a 22-week internship program during their second year of studies. Students from the Diploma in Civil Engineering, Diploma in Facilities Management, and Diploma in Integrated Events and Project Management will undergo a 22-week internship program in their third year of studies. Here are some of the many industry partners that we work with to ensure that our students are given the best context for their internship and future careers. Next, we have our DLA student, Shirley, who was attached to LA Consultancy Company on her internship. During the internship, she was involved in local and overseas projects. In addition, she met two DLA alumni who worked in STXLA and had provided her with many invaluable insights. Shirley is motivated to stay in the LA profession. Let's hear from Shirley. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Shelly and I'm from Diploma in Landscape Architecture. My internship experience in STXRA was rewarding and memorable. At STXRA, I had the opportunity to participate in drafting plans, creating graphics and 3D models for local and international projects. During the internship, I learned new software, Vectorworks, to draft plans. I was also able to hone my skills in SketchUp and Photoshop which were taught in school. Aside from technical works, I had a chance to go for a site visit which greatly enhances my internship experience. This eye-opening internship journey had provided me the opportunity to understand how the industry works and how people from different sectors work together to complete a project. Integrating the skills and knowledge STXLA and SP had taught me, I now look forward to continuing this path as a landscape architect in the near future. In STXLA, I was very thankful that I have two DRA alumni in the company working with me. They had shared with me many valuable insights of further study opportunities as a landscape architect student, as well as uh, the role of a landscape architect in the industry. After getting to know more about their experience and views on landscape architecture and the built environment industry, and how they continued to pursue landscape architecture as a career after completing their studies in DLA, I am now more inspired and motivated to continue my passion in landscape architecture. To facilitate learning, ABE is equipped with a wide array of design studios and workshops. For example, Fab Studio is an initiative aimed to create awareness of digital fabrication through the sharing of knowledge and conducting short courses for both staff and students. Located in Workshop W415, Fab Studio houses a centralized digital fabrication facility with studio spaces that support the flourishing cross-disciplinary community within ABE. It is equipped with a wide range of equipment such as laser cutting machines, 3D printers, 3D CNC miller, CAD workstation, color plotters, and photography and videography green room. Next, we have the event space, which is an incubating ground for students to learn, plan, and simulate different events through a versatile mini performance theater that is integrated with an event hall. This laboratory also provides the space for interactive learning through experimentation with audiovisual systems and its effect on event backdrops. Besides these facilities, we also have other facilities such as the Environmental Lab, Dream Builder and Smart FM Lab. Let's take a look at what we have to offer to give you a better sense of our facilities.
The subject and grade requirements for this set of diplomas are similar, except that design studies and design and technology are only applicable for DArch and DLA. The subject and grade requirements for this set of diplomas are similar, except that art, art and design, design studies and higher art are only applicable for DFM and DEPM. Thank you for watching today's info session on School of Architecture and the Built Environment. Be sure to check out our website for the latest information. We can't wait to welcome you to SP. Thank you and goodbye. Over the years, our Singapore has transformed from in the past the mud flats to the metropolitan city. We are moving away from the traditional construction method which is very labour intensive to something that is more digitalised and more collaborative and bringing all the project parties in a more efficient way. Choosing a career in the built environment means, for example, being a professionals like the architects, the engineers, quantity surveyors, as well as project manager or developers. So if you love the environment and you want to protect it and develop it further, that's the career that you should join. For students who join, you know, we have got up-to-date curriculum um, looking at what the industry needs. Um, they learn from their peers. In SP, they also have the choice to direct their learning or what we call self-directed learning. I think students, when they join SP, they can get uh, insights about the built environment. So from the design part of uh, architecture, landscape, interior design, all the way to the construction, right? Civil engineering, building of buildings, the maintenance and upkeep facility management, uh, as well as programming, right? Running events and facilities uh, within the city itself. I think uh, ABE presents a holistic approach to the uh, built environment and students will be able to learn and pick up these skills and contribute back to the built environment in Singapore, which I think is an amazing opportunity. So the built environment is a very rewarding profession to be in because you get to design uh, spaces that will form experiences and memories for people. SBABE provided me a strong foundation in the technical aspects of architecture and it helped me hone my sensibilities towards uh, attention to details and I'm, I'm always seeking for perfection in resolution. From my experience, students from SPAB have been doing very well in other institutions as they pursue their higher education. That gives the students a lot more confidence and freedom as they pursue the, the various aspects of architecture.